Well, this guy has been crazy amount of work. So it's a double clustered uh, adaptive rocket with spin control, uh, pitch yaw control, whatever. The way it works, you know, I got these guys here. Turn both of these at once. Relative to those, that'll induce spin. This guy can move the whole thing this way. That'll control that angle. And then this one over here will control the Y axis. Um, I fire two of these at once. These two and then these two, so it's balanced. I don't drop anything. I got a GoPro up here. Up in the nose cone, I got a big uh, tracking monitor. Four fins, just slight negative stability, which becomes positive during flight. Um, secondary igniters here. All this is controlled. There's a Raspberry Pi somewhere up there. Parachute, altimeter, rail buttons this time, so I'm not launching it right off the ground. Crazy complicated. Oh, this weighs about 1.49 kilograms, whatever that is. That's it. All right, so let's look at the rubble. First off, Raspberry Pi with the soldered SD card. It seems to always survive. Um, I mean, that's a little bit worse for the wear, but uh, electronics actually held up, didn't even turn off. So I was able to pull the data. Um, the bad news, the GoPro. So I don't care the GoPro smash, but I do want the data. So I can show you all I have, which is just this. And so I'm not sure if the data wasn't saved or what, but I can't find it on the card. Anybody knows how to try to get it, that would be cool. Um, nose cone, probably hit the ground like this. Kind of cool, the part that smashes didn't, you know, stays up. The rest of it, none of the fins fell off. Uh, my tracker, I took it apart, but the uh, battery smashed on this. Uh, my altimeter, Jolly, Logic too, that doesn't work. Uh, one of my extra batteries is swell, it's about to pop. Um, all four motors lit, which was cool. Um, you know, this is seeing better days. Uh, wood frame, you know, what you'd expect. All the igniters went, which was cool, no issue there. Um, Okay, failure analysis, what happened? So here's the ejection charge holder. So I can see the wadding in there is not burnt. So I found this guy. So I checked the resistance before I put it in. It was one ohm, so it was good. After the fact, uh, you know, it's mega ohms. So it either broke when I put it on there or I didn't have it touching uh, the black powder. Uh, but it was a big lesson in having redundancy. So not having redundancy, not having a second igniter. I could have plugged two in here. I could have had a second fail save and that ruined the whole mission. So expensive lesson, but you gotta learn. Uh, I'll show you some data. Whoa! Three, two, one.